The last album came out, started the year 2011, um, and that took us about two years to write. And immediately after that, the touring went insane. We, we did about 50 festivals in the summer. We did a UK, two UK tours. Two UK tours. We toured around Australia, America. And so I guess going into 2012, we really started to sort of get back into a creative mode and think about what sound were we even into, like what started listening to music again. Um, you can't really go into a record thinking about successes or failures and then base that on about what you're going to write. You just need to write music about what you're feeling and what you're into. You can't just put out, you know, a rubbish album. It needs to be, forget how much things sell or do well, it just needs to be good. And I guess with every piece of music we write, be it from an obscure single 15 years ago on Renegade Hardware to um, new single Count On Me with Mocha, we just want to make sure that it's good and we're into it. So I think that's where the pressure lies, mainly that we, who are our own harshest critics, actually like what we're hearing. Track one on the album was the first track that we wrote off the new album, and that was written very organically in the studio with Andy Gangadine on the drums and uh, Rage on the mic, and we just literally wrote that there and then. And then we decided, right, we're going to write a whole album like that. We didn't. Um, it's t you know, things change, you know, suddenly our managers and agents are like, right, you're touring now for eight months. All right. So um, certain like, dreams about how this record could have, could have made, you know, changed. But um, what's been going on with us, I think, personally and music like what wise is um, f like refinding the inspiration that got us into making music in the first place. Like, we know, we're born in the 80s, we grew up in the 90s, that's our time, so we went out raving into clubs in the mid-90s to late-90s and grew up in that, that scene, that vibe, that culture, the Rude Boy clothes, the, the end every Friday, the Bagley's at the weekend, going to watch Jumpin' Jack Frost, Andy C, all that kind of vibe, Prodigy, East Coast, West Coast, early hip-hop we used to love from back then, all these things inspired us to get in the studio one day and make some music. So, that was the basis of the record, to the inspirations that have got us here to, to, to make music and not follow the crowd or what everyone else is doing, just what's appealing to us. We came from really good foundations, so without realising what we were doing, uh, we built this amazing fan base and uh, through the world of drum and bass and you know, independent record labels, we did the rounds. Um, and we stayed in that world for quite a long time. And I think that's really helped um, kind of one, give us perspective and at, when times are hard, make us realise this is all rubbish. Like, remember what we used to be doing. Um, that was what it was all about, you know, the, the, the driving up the M1 at four in the morning to do a gig in Manchester and then driving back to get to, you know, Leeds for 6 a.m. and then back to London for another show and a mashup old Peugeot 306 for 200 quid. But being like literally ecstatic to play the latest dub play or latest thing you just being nervous before you made. play. So. Yeah, that has really helped, I think, sort of keep us going and keep us inspired and and I guess keep us relevant for for, for the ten years it's been.